Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Uh, today, uh, this is a very early pre-recorded video by the way. Um, I had to record this early as family came in late this week for New Year's instead of for Christmas. So uh, I've had family at the house after Christmas Day. So I've been trying to get some stuff pre-recorded for next week. I'm trying to do it while everybody's out of the house. You know, that kind of stuff. But don't worry, I've been spending plenty of time with, with everybody and all that kind of stuff and getting stuff done. Uh, I have been trying to put out a video every day, not my two a day regular, but I've been trying. Uh, this was recorded on Friday, and you're watching it on Monday, then it was recorded three days before. So I did get a couple of comments in. Uh, Joe went and looked up for me and let me know that uh, they did plow, cultivate, and then use the dry fertilizer, and then seeded the field. Uh, they didn't use the manure, so I don't know really when to use the manure, but I bet we can figure that out. I think I saw a hay bale down here on this end of the field. I just want to run down here and check. Uh, if they did, then we got 24 hay bales out of one wheat field. I did. There it is right there. Sitting out here in the rain. Need you to come with me, sir. Uh, oh, we can run with it. Either way, I'm going to try to wait on it to quit raining before we do any... Uh, fertilization to the field because we got water standing as you can see here uh, man the graphics the water graphics in this game are fantastic it's a little bit jerky for me uh, my video card is trying to die and I have to buy another one and I don't have the funds to do so at the moment so I'm just trying to get by with what I've got uh, so far so uh, I do plan on doing a severe upgrade oh and that went in right there okay then uh, I do plan on doing a severe upgrade to my, my setup next year. I'm going to add a, a recording PC or streaming PC, both, uh, as well as my main gaming PC. Uh, my main gaming PC is also going to be upgraded quite a bit. So uh, look forward to that. That way I can produce some better quality uh, video itself. I've uh, been trying to work toward that for a while, and it's starting to get to the point where I can and am able to. It's just not right this second. Holidays are, are kind of slow for me. Uh, my job, I don't do a whole lot during the wintertime. I work mostly during uh, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, spring is extremely busy for me. Uh, there are about nine weeks in a row where I'm home maybe one day a week, uh, sometimes two days a week for about nine weeks straight. So I'm gone quite a bit during the spring, and we will talk more about what that does to our video situation later uh, when we get closer to that. Right now, there's no need to worry about it because we still have plenty of days to produce content uh, for everybody to enjoy. So uh, no need to worry about it right this second. But eventually, we will we will talk about it. I don't know where I'm picking those. Is that from down there? I think that's from down there. The hitboxes on these eggs are kind of weird. There we go. I think we got them all. 28 milk, 81 eggs. Man, that is, uh, that is just good. That is fantastic. All right. Well, I was going to try to wait on it to quit, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Uh, somebody did mention that I could run down and get stuff from the store. Um, the material wise. And we may just cheat, and we may just go do that for now since it's available. And I'm pretty sure they're going to wipe it at some point anyway. So I would like to see, um,. The uh, new new planks and stuff. I'm gonna sell him some of this. Good to see you. Can I help you? You can. can you want to trade? Care to trade? Care to trade? Here we go. Sure. What do you need? I need to sell you things. That's what I need. I need to sell you 18 of these. Uh, let's see. 18. 72 euros. Oh, that was only seven. Oh, no, it was eight. Okay, that was eight. Or uh, 18, rather. Uh, and we need to sell you uh, 51 of these eggs. 20 euros. Nice. Man, we just made a chunk of money uh, off of selling him stuff. So uh, that is going to be profitable, I believe. We get nine cows in there and get two or three milk from each cow every day. And then uh, get our tomatoes growing. I do want to get this field planted and get our other crop harvested. But, man, with it raining, we just can't do that. Uh, that way we can try out the sleep for a week thing, because I'm really curious to see what that's going to do for our... Um, I don't want to get too much into the meta of it. Like, I don't want to uh, put down fresh tomatoes and then go sleep for a week, see how long it takes them to grow, if, they, if they'll grow in that week, you know. But uh, I feel like we planted those the first day we were here, and it's already the 11th. So I don't think it's going to matter too much. 
Our cows have plenty of food. I do want to get some more wheat planted. That way we can get some more hay, of course, for them. So we don't have to... Uh, we don't have to worry too much about what we're feeding him and, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, But either way, I hope you all had a great holiday. I hope you have a great New Year. Today is New Year's Day. I hope you did some cool stuff. Uh, when you're watching this, it'll be New Year's Day. I hope you did some cool stuff for New Year's Eve. Uh, I don't know what your traditions are, how you celebrate New Year's. Uh, we used to shoot fireworks, uh, which was just a fun time. Uh, and they had a rule around here. If you're in the city limits of a city, then you could not shoot fireworks in the city. But uh, we lived out in the county growing up, so we got to shoot a lot of... Uh, I'm not getting the pickup feature now. Did they change that at some point? Did I missed that. Hang on a minute. Let's, oh, okay. There we go. Now I can tell it to pick up. Where's the wood? I saw some wood. What is this? Ceramic roof. Let's roll that cinder block. You know what? I want to take the cinder block too. Concrete plaster. Is that the wood? Wood planks. That's what we want. Now, let's run back over to the farm. Uh, but, yeah, we did. Uh, we, we lived out in the county. We lived out away from the city quite a ways, and uh, there was no law against shooting fireworks at your house. We'd have uh, bottle rocket wars and Roman candle wars and all kinds of stuff. We just we were stupid as kids. We uh, we shot each other with firecrackers and everything else. I think I got shot with a BB gun a few times, not on New Year's, but just in general, because well, you know, growing up in the country, there's not a whole lot to do, so you get bored and shoot your neighbor with a BB gun. And uh, I got shot a few times for some reason. I never shot anybody with it. I think I shot him with slingshots. So that's probably why I got shot with a BB gun, but. Uh, either way, yeah, I hope you had a fantastic New Year's, and I hope uh, 2018 is very good to you, uh, and if not, then uh, I hope it's decent to you anyway. Um, for me, I just I just hope to, to get through 2018 just like I did 2017. I, I just want to, uh, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be a billionaire by any means. I'd just like to make a little money and my family be happy and everybody eat food every day and uh, all that kind of stuff. I don't wish for a whole lot. I'm... Uh, I was raised by a man with a very simple thought process. Uh, there is a country song written way back a long time ago. Uh, it's called um, Daddy Never Was the Cadillac Kind. And that's that's that was my daddy. He was not the Cadillac kind. He was very, very uh, down to earth and very simple minded. He didn't rebuild. He was very simple minded. He didn't want for a whole lot. He just wanted to make sure everybody had what they needed. And I uh, put a little bit back for a rainy day. This new wood definitely looks better. Look at this. Look at that one compared to this one. That new wood looks fantastic. We're going to see if this stays this time. For some reason, it didn't stay on my other doors. Uh, maybe it's because I used plaster and not... Maybe that's maybe that's what... Yeah, maybe that's what that other comment was. Maybe you have to use the, the wood planks first and then, the, and then the, the sealant or whatever on it. We repair all this. Oh, man, look at this. This looks so good. But yeah, either way, if you're watching this on New Year's, I hope you had a fantastic New Year's. I've said that about four times now, but I just want to make sure that I get it across uh, with all my other rambling. I'm just rambling today for some reason. I guess because it's raining outside, and I really didn't plan on skipping another day. Uh, I'd planned on getting this stuff planted. But I want to wait on it to stop raining before I put down fertilizer, because it just doesn't make much sense to put down fertilizer in the rain, because it's just going to wash away. So let me build these two. And this is going to be a brand new place when we get done. Well, you know what? We might run back over and get some brick and just go ahead and completely rebuild this. Oh, you know what? The chicken coop. The chicken coop can be completely rebuilt as well. Although I might skip some of that because I don't know how much more talking I can do um, without boring you guys to death. Can we do any of this? We can do this. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to redo the roof or not. Uh, but this is going to look better. Uh, it doesn't look like we can redo any of the roof from here. So... Uh, we've got quite a few planks down through here to go. And it looks like they're going to take quite a quite a while a piece here. There we go. Something I am looking forward to in this game, though, is getting the fishing pole. Man, when we get a fishing pole, I am going to spend more days fishing than I am actually farming. I'll get up and feed my cows and do one wheat field just to keep them fed and uh, get, go do fishing. I'll just be fishing every day. Depends on the mechanics of the fishing. Like, there's a lot of games that try to do fishing. The mechanics don't work out so well. Um, you know, Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, both of those have fishing in those, but those aren't uh, a real uh, attempt at a, a more realistic life simulator. Those are, uh, you know, those are 8-bit are, are top-down simulator, basically. So 
uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see the mechanics to to go fishing in this game. I think I think if they do it right, it's going to be very very cool. So this is completely done with wood now. Anything in here I need to do? It looks like that got it all. All right, this is. Oh, we can redo this too. Hang on a minute. Let's get this. While while the getting's good, let's do it. There we go. All right, completely. And I back off. Completely redone with wood. Boy, don't that look better. That looks a ton better. I'm actually surprised at how good it turned out. The roof is very intact. Let's go over here and do the chicken coops. Uh, I assume we can do the chicken coop anyway. Let's see if we can do any of this out here. We can build all this with new planks. Look at how much better this place is going to look when we get done. Alright, this seems like a good spot to... Uh, not a time lapse, because we did a big long one in the last episode. This looks like a good spot to just jump cut when I'm finished with the chicken coop. Alright, I left a few pieces so we could both see uh, what the old and the new look like. So this is the old one. This is the new one. Man, look at the difference there. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and get this puppy right here rebuilt. Sorry, chickens. Gonna have to leave you out in the cold for just a split second there. Completely rebuilt, uh, with the exception of a few pieces on the outside. Just want to show you the difference here. Look at look at the difference in that. You guys have probably already done this. You guys have probably already seen it, but I haven't. So I was I was curious just to leave a few pieces out and just see uh, the, the the amazing transformation we're making here. Look at that right there. Look how ugly that looks compared to the other stuff. It only look better. The gate over here. Look how look how ugly the gate is compared to this one. Man, I thought just fixing it up would be it, but uh, apparently. Uh, that piece right there just ain't gonna, it ain't gonna fix, I don't think. Let's go out here and try it. Um, got that one piece of wood right there that we need to do. Uh, I don't guess it's gonna let us. But either way, that is the, the hen house completely rebuilt. Even the roof, we did everything. We did the roof and all. Oh, hey, wait a minute, we can do this too? Yeah, man, you can rebuild a bunch of stuff on your farm. That it? Okay. What this guy? We rebuilt this already. I think we already rebuilt all that. Okay. Picnic tables, chairs, anything? Redo this? That's already been rebuilt, I guess. Uh, we're probably going to have to have some sheet metal and some conch. Can we rebuild the sandbox? We cannot rebuild the sandbox. We should be able to rebuild the sandbox. Close this up. No need for it. And we're going to see if we can redo these doors again. We can. I'm going to do these doors again, and it may not save this time. I don't know why it didn't save last time, but you guys saw me do it in the video. I'm pretty sure you did. Either way, it should have saved. It didn't. We'll just go ahead and redo them. And I cannot believe it is still raining. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. I need to get started on this. Stop raining. Oh, we can't change that one. Okay. Well, we'll rebuild this. There's a little hay trailer in there. Staying dry. And I can't transport grain. I can't do anything right now with it raining. We can rebuild stuff, though. We're good at that. Get those back ones done. And, uh... I think we're going to take half of that canola and sell it, and then we're going to put half of it in here, just like we're saving the other wheat. Uh, just just in case for a rainy day, so to speak. Uh, I, want these, I want these all to be wood. This is going... Man, this barn right here is going to look good when we get done with it. We're going to grab some brick. We're going to do it upright. We're going to get the, the whole... Oh, it left the hinges. Look at that. That's cool. Left the hinges there. Uh, I want to see what this looks like when we get done here. Well, that may have been the door frame. That was the door frame on one side. Okay. Can we do this one? I want to see if it does the wheels on the ladder or if it leaves them. Oh, man. It's going to leave them. Oh, man. That looks so much better like that. Yeah, we're redoing the whole thing. We're just going to rebuild the whole farm today, guys. I didn't plan on this, but uh, you know what? When it hits you. You just got to do it. We need to go get the brick. We need to go get the brick. I want to redo the brick now. And it looks so much better. I want to get that top finished up. Yeah, see, that looks good. I don't I don't know why um, I would wait and buy the truck. <laughs> we can buy it later when they reset the reset the game and you got you to gotta start over. We'll, we'll buy the truck then. Uh, just for now to show it off and just to enjoy the, the playthrough. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do what everybody else is doing, I assume, and uh, just running down to the store and grabbing the materials you need. Look how much better that place looks. That's something else. We are gonna have to. Uh, what am I fixing there? If I wasn't fixing, oh, I thought I was fixing the walls. I was fixing the post. 
We are gonna have to go get some. We're gonna have to get some scaffolding out. I do think so to finish this up, but that's okay. I don't mind at all. Well, I'm gonna work on this for a little while, guys. And uh, it looks like the clouds are trying to break up. The sun's trying to come out, so maybe it'll quit raining in a few. I'm gonna work on this. I'll bring you back when it quits raining. All right. Well, we're done with the barn, man. Don't that look better? Uh, we get a new roof on that thing, get some new brick on it, it's going to look fantastic. This guy right here, I didn't know we could rebuild this thing. We're going to rebuild this too. We're just going to rebuild the whole farm today while it's raining, because it's not going to quit raining, it doesn't seem like. Uh, I just don't want to miss an opportunity to harvest our crops, because I don't want them to go bad for sleeping for a week, and I imagine that's probably what's going to happen if I go to sleep for a week. Probably going to lose the crop. I don't want to do that, so can we... What is that? That's, uh... That's tile. But I wonder if doing that's going to... Looks like it's just going to fix the parts that needs to be fixed. Which is good. That's what we want. Can we repair this? Not repair the old blue bench, can we? Nope. All right, then. We'll just keep moving on around here. And replacing what we can replace. Now, did it fix this side? I don't think so. Oh, it did. It fixed all of them. Okay, then. I guess we could just go sleep another day after we get this done. Uh, I hate to do it, but we could use the rest. I guess we have been at it pretty hard for the last couple days. Yeah, look at that, man. We put that red roof on all these. Have the tin roof on that one. Uh, did we put tin on the bottom side? I don't, yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, can we repair this? I'm just trying to repair everything with brand new wood that I can now. Go in the house. Uh, we'll do the, the storage building later. I want to see if we can repair any of this stuff with brand new wood. I would say we could... That looks repaired already. Uh, maybe we can't do that with the wood planks. Go downstairs and see if we can do anything with wood planks here. Don't look like any of this needs fixing though. Nope, nothing down here to repair with brand new wood planks. Any of this? No, that floor has already been done. That's right. Any of this in here with wood planks? No. Okay. Uh, I tell you what, learning that we could just go take stuff from the store may have been a good idea. After all. Here we go, let's rebuild. Yes, sir. Man, that looks good, too. I like that the floor is different uh, different colored wood in different rooms. That makes me feel a lot better. Because, uh, I mean, realistically, when you start laying hardwood from when you got tile in a hallway, you're not going to lay... You can do different colors in different rooms. It's not going to hurt anything because you're, you're going for the overall look of the room, not the... Not necessarily running the same wood grain the same direction through the entire house. Like that, to me, that looks good. We have the same floor in most of the house, but it's all turned a different way. So in each room you go into, it's turned a different, uh, what? Hang on a minute. Look at those stairs. Man, don't that look so much better. We could repair, but rebuilding looks so much better. Okay, this makes me happy. You guys, you guys were right. Going and stealing the material from the store is the way to do this, for sure. I've already rebuilt those. I think I have. Let's rebuild all this up here. Oh, man, we're in the roof again. There we go. Rebuild all of this with some brand new wood. It'd be nice if we could take some paint or if we could rebuild this guy. I don't think we can rebuild this. We may have to close it to do it, though. Uh, that may be the issue. We may have to close it to do that. This looks like it's going to be uh, about... Three, six, nine. It's going to be uh, quite a few sections. About 12 sections of this up here. Plus the post. Yes, plus the post. Uh, post and ceiling joists and roof joists and everything else. Now what is that doing to the outside? Is that making it wood? I hope not. Oh yeah, it's changing it to wood. So we're changing our metal roof to wood right now. We can go back and fix that back up later. I want to make sure we get all the wood repaired that we can, or replaced that we can get replaced. So... If we have to come back, we'll come back. And I imagine we can take brick and do that chimney, too. Uh, I would think, anyway. Might as well go ahead and do the rest of the roof. Already done pieces of it. Dog on it. Dog on it all. We lost a roof. I guess we didn't have to. We could have kept the metal on there. Uh, we wouldn't have had so much metal to replace later. But I want to see what the wood roof looks like. I know you can see through it now, and that's definitely not something that's good. Um, 
You know, we may come back and just do shingles or something on the roof. That may make more sense anyway. Although I like the tin roof. You ain't got a, a less maintenance with it. It's supposed to last a lot longer. I don't know about that. You're getting hungry. All right, so the roof's done. Oh, we're in the we're in the roof again. The ceiling. There we go. Uh, that's done, and it's not going to quit raining. I guess we're just going to sleep through the rain. This episode is going to be uh, super duper long if we don't sleep through the rain. It will not let me out of here. There we go. Let's activate those and see if we can rebuild that. We cannot. Okay. Is that everything rebuilt? No, this room needs to be done. There we go. Get that one. This one here. Can you rebuild window frames, I wonder? I don't think you can. I don't think that's... I don't think it's that detailed yet. Uh, at some point, it'd be cool if they could get that far with it where you could just replace just window windows if you wanted to. Like just the window seals. Yeah, and the old nasty that looks. If I wanted to rebuild that window frame. It'd be kind of awesome to be able to do that, honestly. Man, look at all this nice brand new wood through here. We're going to go get the tile and finish that up. First, we're going to go upstairs and go to sleep. Because, uh, well, not done raining yet. And I don't want to do any of that in the rain. So, let's see if we get a sunny day. If it's going to quit raining. It sounds like it's still raining. There's new eggs in the house. It is still raining, folks. It is still raining. Cows need milking. All right. Well, looks like it's actually raining worse than it was. If you're well rested and feel strong. We do need to eat something. Uh, grab a few eggs. One, two, three, four, five. You're full. There we go. Let's grab some new eggs out of our brand new rebuilt hen house here. Yeah, I'd planned on doing more today. I'd planned on working on the fields and doing some seeding and that kind of stuff in this episode, but... Uh, the weather is just not going to cooperate with me, and I have a set amount of time that I can record. Like I said, I'm trying to do this while everybody's gone to pre-record for Monday. So, uh, I may be, may not be able to get to the fields today. The episode's not ending yet, but I may not be able to get there, so we'll have to wait and see. Get these cows done, we'll go back to sleep again and get up the next day and do it all over. We'll do it until we don't have rain, I guess. We're going to have to skip some days. That's the only way it's going to work. Well, but don't it feel good to have everything rebuilt nice and new? Nice new wood on all the stuff. I guess we should be crouching to do this, shouldn't we? Uh, what's crouch? That one? That one. I don't know. That. This. Crouch. Crouch. I don't think you can crouch. Uh, it'd be nice if you could, though. That'd, that'd have a realistic effect. Take you, take your bench around with you and your little stool. And Oh, looks like the sun is trying to come out. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Let's hope so. Let's go around back and do these back doors real quick while we're waiting on the sun. It looks like the sun's coming out. Rain is going to die down. Uh, we're going to do these back two doors here while we're waiting. Oh, there it is. The sun has come out and the rain has gone away. That means we can go get our fertilizer and we can get it filled up. And I will bring you back when we get to that point. We have some green tomatoes growing. How cool is this? And I thought about it. I was like, man, it's been a couple days since we checked. Man, look at these plants. They're getting big. Look at the tomato plants. That's starting to look good. We need to stake them, though. If we don't stake them, they'll start drooping. Or falling over to the side. Uh, is the field dry enough? It does appear to be some low spots here where water still may be holding a little bit, but it does appear to be dry enough to do this. So, let's get in the old jack bear. And uh, we're going to do some testing here. We're going to unhitch the cedar. And, oh man, the sensitivity when you're on this thing is so much faster than when you're not. Let's turn that sensitivity down quite a bit. Let's go hook up to the fertilizer and let's fertilize this doggone field so that we know the next time uh, whether or not this actually works or not. So you're supposed to fertilize before you seed, but after you plow and cultivate. So that is noted. We want to enter magazine and we want to fill with fertilizer. Oh man, sensitivities are back and forth all over the place. Fill with fertilizer. 
All right. It is filled, it seems like. It has 88% fertilizer in it. Oh, God. I got to turn my sensitivity back down. Uh, really, what, I, I, I'm waiting on the day when you get sensitivity control over uh, each individual thing. Sensitivity while on the tractor, sensitivity while off the tractor in the menus. That way I don't have to flip it back and forth uh, on my mouse because it kind of gets... Uh, Start fertilization. I don't know how wide this thing works, but uh, not too wide. That's pretty close right there. Uh, if we can just get in a straight line here, we're throwing it all over our seed that's already planted, so about right there. Uh, how do I turn that off? Stop fertilization. Z. I'm going to have to change that too. I don't like that. There we go. Just do that. And we'll Changing the speed at which your cruise control gets set would be very helpful too. Uh, if any of the devs ever see that, I'm sure they, I'm sure they're aware that that's probably a thing that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. Or people would like to be able to slow down and do this. I would, I would definitely like to slow down and do this. Uh, with this old crazy tractor I'm on here, it gets kind of weird. So, I'm just gonna go as straight as we can right here. I'm gonna have to go change the setting on this so that. Uh, I don't have to hit V to turn it off. It's kind of weird. It's weird for me anyway. It may not be weird for anybody else. 71%. So we can do quite a bit of this with just this little bit of fertilizer here. And it throws pretty wide, so that's pretty good. Definitely throws pretty wide. Matter of fact, we might just be able to run this thing around the headland here. See if we can do this. Turn this way. And we'll miss a bit there. But we're back on the field. We don't have to stop and turn around. This is faster. Uh, although you're going to sacrifice a little bit of your uh, fertilization. I am running way too far over to the left. Back out here some. Uh, the other thing I know the devs are looking at is whether or not to add wheel support. I think you should add wheel support. Because if you're not, you're going to lose a lot of people that would have loved to have come and played this game. Uh, but will not now because it does not have wheel support. So. Um, definitely devs. Take the advice of the people that love the game. Figure out how to add wheel support because there's a lot of people that don't want to play something. I know, I know it's not just a farming simulator, but because you are driving something around, because you spend a lot of time in the field when you start plowing and cultivating and all that kind of stuff, there are going to be a lot of people that want to use a wheel to be able to do so. And uh, not being able to do so is going to be a turnoff for them. So, uh, just, just, some, just some food for thought for me. Add the wheel support. I think everybody will be happier if you do. Uh, I don't even have a wheel yet. I'm still working on getting one. I've played Farm Sim all these years without one, so I don't really know what it feels like to own one. I'm sure once you get a wheel, it's very, very challenging to go back to playing with just mouse and keyboard, which this game kind of makes you do, so you get the taste of what it feels like to be a peasant again without a wheel. That's how I feel most of the time. I don't have one either. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting one at some point, uh, just not right in this second. A lot of things I'd like to get, but uh, have to wait. All right, here we go. Just about done with the fertilization process. Let's jump back across there real quick. Get some of that that we missed. Get some of this that we missed. We missed some uh, some edges on the start here. It looks like. Just jump back across there and grab it real quick. And we have 22% fertilization left. We missed a whole big old chunk right there, but that's okay. Uh, the rest of the field hopefully will make up for it. We're going to go park this guy. Uh, hopefully. Oh, hey, look out now. We're going to have to grab some brick now and, and put all new brick on the place just because we damaged one right there on the corner. Uh, that's not at all the way I'm trying to turn that now. You see me turning my wheel that way. We're just going to park this guy right there. Perfect. I didn't think it hitched at all. I mean, I didn't think it parked at all. All right. Well, let's get the field seeded. Uh, hopefully, we'll have enough seed to do so. And apparently, you don't have to turn this thing on. You just start driving across the field, and it does its deal. So, uh, very helpful. It has 95% seed in it. Whoa, we've already been here. Let me go into first person for a minute and get away from that tree. Uh, the camera collisions on this game are not the best. Uh, I think being able to turn off camera collision may be a very, very solid option in the future. Because you hit everything. 
Let's see. Can we feel you? Can we see it at full speed? I think we can. I think we tried that. I don't know how wide it's going. I don't want to go too wide and miss some of it like that. So I definitely want to keep the wheel uh, just on the line there. Uh, tractor wheel, anyway. Just on the line of being good. There we go. A little straighter wouldn't hurt anything, but... Where did we just come down through there? Right there? Looks like right here. Yeah, that's it. All right, good deal. Uh, all right, this is going to take me a minute. I'll bring you back in just a second. All right, we should be just about done. Uh, there's a few little places I need to go back and touch up, like here and here. You can see the, the, the lighter color is our seated spots, like this little spot right here over to my left. See the color change in it? Uh, not the dark spots, but the spots that look more like this streak right here in front of us. This streak right here. That has not been seated. Uh, there should just be one or two more spots right down the middle here because I did kind of back and forth across the field. I didn't really go rows with it. So uh, that should be pretty much it though. And we have 0% left for seed. So we are completely out. It is 99.44% seeded. As you can see, there's a few little spots over there that we did miss. That'll be fine. Uh, if we needed to, we could go refill, but we want to go buy some more seed first, I think. So let's see if I can... Backing this thing up is very tricky. I don't want to back it into that spot right there. Might have to, might have to kind of do this a couple times to get it in there. I want to back it right here next to the fertilizer. Uh, not quite like that, but something similar. About like that will work just fine. Unhitch that there. Now we wait. Uh, no, now we get the, the harvester out and harvest this field here. Um, and I think we might actually have time to do that today since I am doing longer episodes of this series. So, probably have time to do that. Um, I will need the grain trailer. It is right here, I think. Let's see if it's in here. Up off of there. Is it this side that I need? It's the other side that I need. Let's go through and open the doors. There we go. Shut this one back on the way out. Oh, the sensitivity difference is just killing me. Uh, there we go. Uh, you see how fast it moves when I'm on the tractor. And I've tried turning the setting down. It doesn't work for me. So uh, we'll, we'll have to wait on a patch. I just have to be very careful moving when I'm on the tractor. And then I have to turn it up once I get off the tractor. So. Uh, and the collision box for the camera is everywhere. Oh, man. It is everywhere. It's all over the place. I like guess not even close. You know? All right. Uh, probably going to try to do this fill today as it needs to be done, and then we can go sleep for a week. Um, or we might do this and then plant and then sleep for a week after the next episode. Oh, I don't know what to do yet. Uh, i tell you what, give me just a second, I'll make up my mind. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this, and I think I might have uh, time to go ahead and plant. And, oh man, the camera collision. Oh, it kills me. It kills my eyes. Cameras is back and forth everywhere. I think we can fit through there. Uh, I think I can go ahead and harvest this. And I think I might have time today to go ahead and spread manure across part of this before we plow it just to see. That way we can get all this done in one day. How much time do we have left? Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. We are good. It's August 12th. Uh, how do we turn this thing on? I can't remember. Header down, header on. I want to change that real quick in the settings here. Um... Maybe this is not the one I want. Not the one I want. Hello, there we go. Controls, that's the one I want. Uh, extend, unload, ETO. I want that to be uh, B. There we go. Now I think everything feels familiar. Uh, I did go through and set some of this, like the farm sim settings, because, well, it just makes more sense to me to do things that way. So, yeah. ETO should be B. Perfect. Turn the sensitivity back down, of course. There we go. I don't feel like I'm jumping all over the place. All right, now, if you do this, when you start harvesting, you can see that you pick it up. You see that you are actually harvesting. You don't want to go too fast. Luckily, they set the crews to be at the maximum speed you can harvest at, so that's nice of them. Uh, getting a little hungry. Yeah, we can deal with that. We're 77, 17% uh, full, 22% full already. This is going quick. 
Uh, so it looks like we're going to have quite a nice yield out of this field here. Yeah, this is going to be pretty nice, I do believe. 4% harvested and we're 45% full. So we're going to get quite a lot of uh, canola out of this. And I was going to do a headland, but I changed my mind. I think I'm just going to go up and down the field. Uh, as that makes more sense to me. We are 58% full. Holy moly. Okay. So by the time we get back to the other end, and we're not even going to make it to the other end. So we're going to have to back up and, and dump some of this, I think. Although I did figure out that when it gives you the trigger or uh, the warning that you're overfilling your combine, it's only at 95%, so you can go a little bit more if need be. And I always try to watch this thing uh, to get to... Let it coast there for a minute. 99. Uh, 100. There we go. So 1,200 kilograms is what it holds. I'm going to turn that off. And we're going to come right over here. And we're going to go past this. And we're going to spin around. Hopefully not tear up any of our crop. And we should be able to dump. Oh, get off the field. I don't want to get on our, our other crop we just planted. God, this camera. I cannot wait till they give me options um, <laughs> to to control sensitivity on other things other than just the uh, let's see eyes unload. It is uh, that's 100% does about 28 on the trailer, so that's good to know uh, to give me options on sensitivity. That way I don't have to back and forth with my mouse uh, sensitivity with DPI on my mouse. It just drives me crazy because it still doesn't work. Great. It's there, but it's not working perfectly either. Hasn't changed it a whole lot. It does change it once I get off, but that's the only time. So, once I get off of a piece of equipment. Now, let's see if make sure we're harvesting again. We do seem to be. All right, good deal. Now, we can just go for a little while. Looks like we're going to be able to go up and then back down. Or up and then somewhat back down again. Not all the way, of course. Uh, but this field should not take too very long. Looks like it's going slightly faster than the corn did. Although this, he is, uh, this header is slightly wider than the corn header. Not much, but just slightly. I feel like I can do more with it at a time. So, uh, maybe a time lapse of this? Maybe? Maybe this will be good? Let's do that. Take a bit of this to the uh, the cell point over here. We don't have a whole lot left to do. 
Uh, about 20% of the field left. I just really want to take some of this over here and sell it. Uh, so we do need the money. We got 1,200 euros. Wouldn't hurt to have a bit more. Uh, which way do we go? Uh, go down, right. Yeah, down to the right, and then just over there. It's not very far at all. Uh, I think the other field we bought is just over here too, is it not? It's just on the other side of this house. So, yeah, that's our field right over there. Uh, this other field was much closer to the grain cell point, so uh, it was nice to have that. But I think canola, let's, let's take a look right here. I think canola brings a much better price. Uh, canola price, seven, 792 euros per ton. So it does bring quite a... Oh my goodness, hang on a minute. Uh, there we go. I have to slow my mouse down to absolutely nothing to be able to not uh, throw it all over the place when I'm in a vehicle. Uh, yeah, so 792 euros per ton. 792 euros, almost 800 euros per ton. Uh, so this is going to be quite a nice little load. Um, 4,200. Or uh, 4... 4,200 liters, I guess it would be. So, should get quite a nice price for this. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, skip the rest of the time lapse because I want to get that plowed too and get some more. I want to get some manure down and I want to see what the difference may be. So, we do need to run down to the other place and I am running out of time for the day. So, I may have to do that in the next episode, guys. I know I keep saying I'm going to try out the sleep for a week feature. Uh, but I may have to plow on everything in the next episode just because I'm running out of time for the day. Uh, I wish I had, you know, five or six hours a day to play this, but I don't. I just don't, so. Uh, sadly, I would like to. <laughs> I would, I'm sure everybody would like to have some more time to do things they want to do, but uh, we don't. We have other things we have to attend to every day. Uh, we all have responsibilities that we have to take care of, so. Uh, but uh, let's get this sold, and I'll get back over there, and I'll finish that up, and we'll see how much we end up with. We've already got 4,200 dumped in our storage bin that is above the uh, where we parked this trailer so we'll see how much we get total out of this so this is uh, this would be 8400 um, 8400 liters that we've got out of our little bit small field the field is not that big honestly uh, Vita race trailer I don't know if I like that either what what is it I think it's ah I need to switch that to ah honestly on here too Quite a good price for that. We had 1,200. That means we got 3,300 euros for this. Just want to close that. I want to go to here real quick. Uh, nope, I did it again. Let's go. Come on now. Work with me. Controls. And operate up and down. Could be... Uh, oh, well. I guess we can leave it as V. Um... It's registering this as an up and down thing. So let me save real quick, just because I have been reminded to make sure I save every so often. We've done that entire field. Definitely want to make sure I save in case the game crashes. There we go. Game saved. Back over to the field. I'll see you when we get there. couple more little swipes up and down through here and we should be done with this field and uh, we may go ahead and store this as well as 4,000 euros is enough to go buy some more seed to plant more crop so uh, would you guys be opposed to me doing some of this off camera uh, since this is my Monday episode that is very early pre-recorded uh, you have two days to let me know 
um, before the Thursday episode. I'll need to know. Well, I actually have all day Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday as well. But um, I'll need to know before then so that I can get it recorded for Thursday. Uh, I do record one day in advance, so if I give you a poll or ask you a question, if your answer is not in the day before the scheduled release date on the video, then it may not count toward the uh, the overall opinions, so keep that in mind. Uh, I, re I record a day in advance just to make it easier for myself because I do, like I said, I, lots going on here. Uh, I do have kids and all that kind of stuff, so got to keep the house clean and... And dinner and all that all that good jazz that everybody else has too but just to let you know I, I don't record the day of or anything uh, I think we'll be able to open that door and just pull this guy straight in there let's try that that way we don't uh, we're gonna hit the trailer it's not but I'm gonna hit the tree like I said the collision boxes on this game is the thing that bothers me the absolute most I think uh, collision boxes are just so all over the place you can be three feet from something and you're going to stick to it for some reason. I'm not real sure why it does that, but uh, either way. Yeah, let me know if you would mind if I did some of this off camera. I don't think a lot of you are going to have a problem with it, me just getting on here. Because I can, I, can, I can play, but I can't record because I, I'll play for ten minutes and then hop up and go do something. And play for ten minutes, hop up and do something. So, um, it's a lot easier to do some of the plowing and stuff off camera. So you guys let me know if it would be a problem. I don't figure it will be, but uh, you know, some people some people are pretty picky about it. So. Uh, let's see if that goes in there. Maybe it will. Maybe it did. I don't know. I'll have to hop off here and see, I guess. Uh, 6,326 in the storage. Very nice. So we got that done. Uh, but yeah, it would be a whole lot easier for me to record uh, some of the plowing and stuff off, of, off camera. Since we've seen it done, you've seen the plowing done, I don't figure it'll be an issue. I may go ahead and do it anyway. So your answer may be null and void by the time you see the next video. Um, I just think it would be more entertaining to get uh, get some more stuff done, like uh, trying to do the go find a wife thing, you know. I think that might be more, more entertaining than watching me do crops all the time, as this is a life simulator and not just a farm simulator. Let's unhitch that there. Oh, the sensitivity thing again, that's right. There we go. Alright, we're just going to park the tractor here for now. We'll close up these doors, as we're not going to need these for a while. Uh, let's get this guy closed up. We're done with the harvester until we get another crop grown. Uh, we will need the cedar and stuff again, the fertilizer. But uh, for now, I can't enter while we're not on that thing. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Later, everybody.